Does everyone remember lifting the lid? He was that guy who thought he could convert everyone on the planet to flat earth within 20 years. Now we're at 2.2 billion after 20 years. Well, he has released a video with all of his documentary footage laced together without the subtle yet undermining commentary. Best we put that all back in then, isn't it? Hello all and welcome along to another episode of Flat Earth Friday with me, Simon Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Before we begin today, I want to thank the sponsors of today's video, Readly. Readly is a digital subscription service for magazines, a Spotify for magazines if you will, which you can use on smartphones and tablets. You can get unlimited access to over 5,000 national and international magazines with an easy and intuitive app for just $7.99 a month. So you can read as many magazines as you like for just one set price. Features include family sharing, offline reading, bookmarking and more, all without the hassle of a long-term contract. And of course, they provide an online paper-free platform for magazines, helping to reduce waste. Difficult times this year means we have more time on our hands, so why not use that times to ignite or indulge in a new interest? As you know, I'm a huge science enthusiast, and recently I've been checking out BBC's Science Focus magazine's recent summer 2020 edition, specifically how UK tech is laying the groundwork for a permanent moon base. Fascinating stuff. And there's this cool little feature which allows you to expand the page so you can read it easier. And if you really want to focus on space, then All About Space is a great option too. Their most recent edition looks at a possible black hole in the solar system. Use my link in the description to enjoy a month of really free. However, if you sign up in the first two weeks of October, you get an extra month free too. Then it's just $7.99 a month. Right, back to lifting the lid and his documentary footage. Let's take a proper look at it, shall we? I'm doing this because, first of all, I'm angry that I've been lied to. I'm angry that my children have been lied to and all future generations are gonna continue unless people wake up to this and I'm doing it to, to wake as many people up as I can. The whole population according to you. My daughter came back from work one day and said you never guess what someone at work thinks the earth is flat <laughs> and I just laughed and went don't be daft. Yeah don't be daft there'll be a I tried to prove it wrong but I couldn't comment coming up soon. And he said yeah she said yeah it's it's apparently it's a big conspiracy. That evening I thought Tell you what, let's have a look, look at this thing, see what it's all about. Come on, buddy. It didn't actually convince me there and then. I needed much more proof. But it also made me think, crumbs, there's a lot more to this than meets the eye. You can't, you can't just throw it in the bin. Yes, you can, because it's nonsense. I decided this year I'd set up a meetup in Bristol because I didn't want to feel isolated. I knew there'd be at least 10 flat earthers. And I was proven right. The thing about a flat earther is we've all agreed that we don't live on a globe. Shame you don't agree on anything else though. Dome or no dome, gravity or not, the size of the sun, I could go on and on. We believe in a geocentric model, a flat stationary plane and what they've been told about a globe heliocentric model doesn't work. Except for the fact that it does in every single scenario. I was like just looking at the horizon going, oh God, oh God, they're right, they're right. Some believe in a dome above and some believe the plane goes on infinitely. But all flat earthers agree that there's no curvature, that water finds its level and that we've been lighting. Groundbreaking peer-reviewed stuff there. I know most of you know this, but for new viewers and flat earthers, sarcasm setting was on 106% there. Flat earth is the big daddy of all conspiracies, really. The first thing a scientist has to do is actually follow the scientific method and go where the evidence takes you. <laughs> the evidence, good one. And be willing to throw away the old model if that's what it requires. 
I think the globe model falls apart at every level when you start to scrutinize it and that's the surprising thing. We see things off in the distance which should be hidden behind curvature. When you are stood on top of mountains, yes, literally proves the globe. So that's the number one proof we can see too far. That's not proof. It's a claim that has never been proven. Water itself always conforms to a level um, and it must be contained. So gravity somehow holds trillions of tons of water on the underside of a spinning ball. And yet a moth can just take off from a tanker in Australia without any effect whatsoever. Yes, because trillions of tons of water and a moth have exactly the same mass, don't they? Oh, and let's not forget the ability for water to fly. NASA, I'm afraid, are very fraudulent in this. They essentially set it up in 1956 to militarise space and just close it off to a general inquiry. They could then control the narrative and bring us our pictures from space. And I've seen many, many examples of the ISS footage, clearly faked, lots of things going on. I have an issue with the term clearly faked. It's not clearly faked, is it? Which are wrong, harnesses, green screens, VR, you know, those that present for NASA are clearly spokespeople and actors. I mean, look at, look at Brian Cox, look at Neil deGrasse Tyson, look at Bill Nye. These guys aren't scientists. They're just, they're just compelling speakers. Yeah, they don't spend years of their lives studying things that are so lost on flat earthers that it's not even funny. They're good articulate speakers who are a good sales sales guys for the NASA model. It's not the NASA model, they don't own it, it's actual reality. Because we're unhappy about the lies, we're angry about the lies, and we want the world's deception to be uncovered. Flat Earth is like level 10 of conspiracies, it's so out there but so challenging. For most people, it's just a step too far. You can say that again. And that's called cognitive dissonance, where you just can't, you're, it's also known as normalcy bias, where you just snap back to what's normal for you. Because everyone knows the Earth's a globe, right? It's, it's agreed, it's a consensus. Absolutely. So the burden of proof to prove that it's flat is on you, isn't it? But, but I would recommend people go looking into things like 5G, the big pharma, Suitable companies who all want you sick, the suppression of cancer cures. And what you'll find is um, there is a conspiracy amongst the big global elites. They happen to be the directors and shareholders of mega corporations and they act in their own interests. As you can see, Robin is in deep. There's not a conspiracy that he thinks is rubbish. Most people are not ready for a truth like this and There's so no when you do rock their boat and tell them They'll want to get you as angry as you've just made them. And so it is hard, but thanks to the way the awareness is spreading, we're now in a place where we're able to talk about this to anyone and everyone. I think we're in a really, really good position right now to do street activism. And this is the way forward. There's no algorithm that can block this. You cannot stop this. No, you cannot. However, I think you'll find that you are just a humorous highlight in people's day. People do think you're a bit crazy. And uh, so I just wanted to find out if there were any other people out there who had the same kind of thoughts, and, and it appears there are quite a lot. It is a bit scary, and I think that's why a lot of people won't accept, you know, when we present sort of what, what we call evidence and proof, you know, that they just kind of uh, don't want to listen or don't want to even investigate. It is quite a scary thing. Yes, scary in the sense that other people can believe this rubbish. It's, uh, it's not an easy path, it's not a comfortable path, but, um, you know, they say the truth hurts, don't they? You know. So most people say, oh, what does it matter if the earth is flat? I still got bills to pay, I still have to go to work. Yes, you are correct, but I want to be a better person myself, and so finding flat earth helped me do that. Uh, I changed a lot of, of, of the way I was. I've lost many friends due to that. Um, Many just couldn't accept that, that I, I, I didn't want to do the same thing that they were doing. And so it made me more mature as a person. It made me more, more of a critical thinker. That's great. But unfortunately, you have been duped. I don't think it's safe to trust any source of media because they're all sort of controlled and manipulated and used by all sides, you know. So I don't think you can trust 
YouTube now, but I think you can get a lot of truth from YouTube. Like, you can get truth anywhere if you look hard enough. You can't trust YouTube, yet there's loads of truth there too. Incredible. It's about being discerning. And I think sometimes you, you just know if something feels right. We always learn through experience. So whatever your experience is, go with that. And um, it is quite sad, you know, when I first discovered this, I was very lonely, very lonely. I didn't have many people I could talk to. But the more people that woke up and the more people that I showed proof for and the question stuff, the more people began to wake up. I'm not alone anymore. If you have something that's not just a theory, there's, there's knowing and there's a belief. And that's the trouble is so much science today is based on belief. It's scientism, it's like a dogma. How very ironic. As Richard Feynman once said, we are at the end of a 400 year journey finding stuff out about the world. The work has been done meticulously. Meanwhile, you stand there after five years of misunderstanding, misrepresenting and downright lying, telling us all that the earth is flat. The comparison is laughable. We're shown that gravity exists and therefore that proves heliocentrism. Anything that would make me quit flat Earth. I'd like to see a video footage of an astronaut going all the way up to the space station, docking, getting in. Then I'd like to see video footage of the World Cup, something live, an action, a live action event where we can see, oh, there's, you know, there's, there's uh, Ronaldo scoring the goal. Live footage from the ISS, it should be a piece of cake, right? We've got satellites zooming in all the time. Okay, okay, how about this? This is the eruption of Sarichev volcano in 2009, seen from the ISS. Or how about this picture? The smoke from the recent wildfires in Australia, as seen by an astronaut also on the ISS. If you think that someone can zoom into a football match from the ISS, then you are deluded. That would be very compelling, but I know it won't happen. Just showed you, Robin. Because it's not possible. As a flat earther, I think, you change your perspective on a lot of things. Who you are, where you live, what the physics of this place is. Oh, come on, you wear that t-shirt other than for a joke? Seriously? And as much as I love Flat Earth and I love the people and I love the movement and I love what it means, because there's a very deep impact on everyone who gets to this place, I'd still be willing to put it down if I found there was such a large contradiction and a problem with it that it no longer made sense. Yeah, I could put it down. How's this for a contradiction then? These three people all see the same stars, the exact same stars, while supposedly looking in three completely different directions. I'll await your excuse on that one. Do you see that happening in the future? Highly unlikely, the evidence keeps mounting up and NASA's desperate attempts to cover up are getting worse and worse. Desperate attempts? Where do you get off? Round, round, round. The earth is round. Hang on, I need to take this. Hello? Yes, 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 I'm doing it now, I'm doing it now. What, what do you mean I need to try harder? These, these guys make themselves look bad by themselves. What do you need to pay me for to make them look even worse? Because you're desperate. Sure, okay. All right, fine. See you later. As I was saying, NASA are not desperate. But it's now a legitimate thing to be talking about. We, we've made Flat Earth a legitimate conversation. That flyer right there has been thoroughly debunked. Check the link in the description. And I challenge anyone to look at the evidence and go, no, that's rubbish. Because it all stacks up. It's rubbish. That was easy. Well, there we go. Another Flat Earth Friday all wrapped up. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, then please, please do like and subscribe. Just enough time to once again thank Readly for sponsoring today's video. Remember, sign up in the next few days and you'll get an extra month for free. Link is in the description. I've been Simon Dan. Have yourselves a fantastic weekend and I'll see you all on Tuesday for some more Tin 4 action. See you then.